Have you ever had a grand idea or great vision for a building or space, but then you struggle to bring your vision to life on paper? In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to use Midjourney to add texture, depth, detail, and so much life into your rough architectural sketches. First off, if you don't know how to use Midjourney, check out this video right up there. It'll teach you all the basics you need to know. Upload your sketch into Discord by pressing this plus button here, upload a file, navigate to where you saved your sketch, and then click open. Press enter to upload it to Discord. I would recommend taking it into Photoshop before you upload it into Discord and changing it so that it's completely black and white and the background is white. It just helps Midjourney to read your image a little bit better. Now, as you can see, this is not a very good sketch. It's something very rough that I've made, but I just wanna see what Midjourney can do with it. Right click the image that you uploaded and do copy link. Type in slash imagine, paste in the image URL and do a space. So I found the best words to use initially are sunny day, sky with clouds, pedestrians walking around, trees, architectural rendering. So let's do that. Sunny day, sky with clouds, pedestrians walking around, trees, architectural rendering. Then we're gonna add our aspect ratio parameter. So do dash dash, AR space. This one is somewhat in landscape. So I'm going to do two to one, which is landscape. Portrait is one to two. And if your sketch is a square, do one to one and then hit enter. After your image is done rendering, I would go ahead and run it two more times using the redo button or the refresh button. This will give you a total of 12 images to choose from. Because it's so random each time, it's really nice to have a larger selection. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it two more times. Once, and then twice. So this is what our output looks like so far. There's our first one. And then we re-ran it again. And then our third rerun. There's a lot more work to be done, but don't worry, we're gonna put it through a couple more steps. If Midjourney is rendering your sketch over to the left or to the right too much, or it's in the sky or something like that, I recommend just redrawing your sketch or repositioning it in Photoshop so that your building or the sketch of your building is directly in the center of the image. That way Midjourney knows to focus on it. The next step is we wanna turn Remix on. So type slash settings, press enter. At the bottom, there's a toggle for Remix mode. Make sure that's turned on. Now find the top images that you really like. So I like number one for this image. I'm gonna hit variation one. Delete the entire image URL. That is if you don't like the line work. If you do like the line work being present, you can go ahead and leave it. Otherwise for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. Also, we're gonna delete everything except for architectural rendering. If you would like, you can replace architectural rendering or do a comma and then add in other new style words or aesthetics at this point, like high detail, hyper-realistic, photorealistic, abstract, or any strongly weighted style word. Check out the Midjourney cheat sheet for more examples. Make sure not to delete the aspect ratio parameter. I'm gonna leave mine as is like this without any more heavily weighted style words and just click submit. Now, because I wanna increase my chances of having an image that I like in the end, I'm gonna run that same process for more of these images. I like the bottom right for this one, so I'm gonna do variation four delete everything but architectural rendering, and then click Submit. And for this image grid, I like the first one because it looks like it has constellations in the sky here. So I'm gonna run with that a little bit, see if Midjourney picks that up. Click V1 to make a variation of the first image. Then I'm gonna delete everything except for architectural rendering again, and then click Submit. Check out what it made. It's looking more and more like an architectural rendering. And now that we have the general form of the building and a shape and composition that we like, let's go ahead and upscale three images that we love. In this image grid, I really like the bottom left one, so I'm gonna upscale number three. In our second remix, I love the, I really like the bottom left one again, so I'm gonna upscale number three. And then our last remix, because it brings back in a lot more of that original diagrammatic or sketch and like graphite charcoal type qualities. So I'm gonna upscale number one. 
If you're completely unhappy with the results from the remix, then I recommend drawing a new sketch with bolder lines for the edges of the buildings or other important elements. You can also go back to step one and keep running the job over and over again with different prompts until you get something that you like. After your images are done being upscaled, click it and then click save image. And we're gonna do that for all three of them. If you're happy with any of the results, then that's awesome. You can take one of those images and run for it. Otherwise, one last step that I kind of like to do is I like to blend all three of them together and just see what I get. Sometimes it comes out looking really nice. So type in slash blend space, click at the end of the prompt and it'll give you the option to add in image three, click at the end again, click dimensions and click landscape. Now for image one, where it says drag and drop or click to upload a file, let's go ahead and add in image one, two, and three. So there's number one, number two, and number three, and then hit enter. And now we have our final images. Figure out which one you like the most. I really like the bottom left image the most and the top right. I don't know, they're all pretty cool. It's hard to choose, but I'm just gonna run with the bottom left. Then you just simply upscale it. Let's say you are on your final image grid here and you don't really like any of these and you want it to look more realistic. I found that a very powerful command that you can use is to figure out which one of these you like the most. Let's go with number one. I'm gonna click V1, delete all the prompts, type in photo realistic, comma, architecture rendering and then press submit. And after it's complete, you can see by doing that, it no longer looks as diagrammatic as it did before and it looks more photorealistic. Over there are two videos that I think you'll really enjoy. And if you like the video, please like the video and subscribe down below to see future content just like this. Right beside me are a list of patrons from Patreon. If you sign up, you get a lot of great architecture related benefits and your name gets featured at the end of the video like these amazing people right here.